Communities are still iced over and waiting to thaw out this week. Peyton Kennedy is live in Smyrna with a look at the conditions there and an update on the statewide impact. And Nikki, like we just saw, a lot of the primary routes are all clear and good to go. But then when you get on the secondary route, it, that is when you would find some slick spots. So TDOT is still working on those secondary routes. You can also take a look at their progress and the current road conditions on TDOT's SmartWay website. It is still a bit cold out here this morning. And while we are expecting temperatures to warm this week, the TEMA says that warming centers are still open across the state. The TVA also says there was a record high demand for electricity last week. It came on Wednesday morning. The peak power demand over the weekend was Sunday at 8 a.m. when the average temperature was about 12 degrees. The TVA says the power grid stayed stable. However, as of 5 p.m. yesterday, there are about 2,750 power outages statewide. Plus, 17 counties have reported water utilities with operational issues and 28 water systems have issued boil water advisories. Now, Tima says they do expect some additional complications to come as temperatures warm this week with the water systems. So we'll keep an eye on that and keep you posted. Live in Smyrna, Peyton Kennedy, News 2.